Happy Wednesday and welcome back to a brand new iRoto Teams video. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. As you guys probably already know, we got the CSL Chinese League Team of the Season uh, on Monday as well as the Eredivisie Team of the Season. We're going to get both of the guaranteed Eredivisie and CSL Team of the Season SBCs along with the guaranteed City A Team of the Season SBC tonight at 6pm. I thought I would just have a look at who I think are dubs and who I think are L's from both guaranteed team of season packs and then obviously we'll get into the rating teams so I think Paulinho is a massive dub this card looks absolutely insane Hulk is phenomenal as well I think that's a dub Renato Augusto is not bad I think rating wise he's fantastic I don't think he's as usable as other cards I just don't think he's got quite the stats that Paulinho possesses um, to make him a dub uh, in terms of usability but I think that rating wise he's a dub same with Oscar and Zahavi Alex Ushera looks like one of the most meta players on the whole game. Same with Jonathan. Uh, and then the rest of them, in my opinion, are an L. Now, if we have a look at the Eredivisie team of the season, I think ZH, Promes, Van der Beek, Tagliafico, Denzel Dumfries are all dubs. And I think the rest of them are Ls. I think Idris is a small dub because of his rating. Again, I just don't like the card. I don't know what it is. I just don't like the card. I'm pretty sure he's three star, three star. Oh, no, he's four star skills, three star weak foot. I don't know what it is about the card. I just don't like him. I don't, I just. Don't like the look of the card. I just think that it's one of those cards that has amazing face card stats, but will play horrifically in game. However, obviously, if you pack them on tradable, you might as well throw them into it. Just give them a go. You know what I mean? As I always say, don't just take my words uh, for gospel. Give players a go if you want to give them a go. You know, at the end of the day, we all play different FIFA styles. We all like different players. Give players a go. I think you'll enjoy them. So we're going to do the old format for this episode. Let me know if you prefer this to what we tried on Sunday. Uh, and we'll make a definitive definitive, <laughs> definitive decision for Sunday's episode. Starting off with Darcy Quinn at Seki's team who says, uh, Hey man, loving the streams late, lately. Uh, 650k to spend. Kazola and Tots Rafa are the only tradables either as shown or in game. Uh, or 3-5-2, uh, sorry. With Vieira third centre back. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Looking for a better striker, I think. Okay, so I'm guessing you want to... Do you want to replace Kazola or do you want to replace Rodrigo? I guess you want to replace Kazola here as a striker. Um, What would I suggest in terms of a striker here? I think that... Rodrigo at 8 cam is not a bad shout. You could give... Uh, there's a few options here. You can go with the 89 Bobby Firmino striker card. That wouldn't be a bad shout. You could maybe stretch to the uh, the Scream one. Has uh, less pace, less dribbling, but has that defending stat and that physical stat boost, depending on how you play the game. You don't need defending for a striker, but the reactions and stuff will help. Um... You can go with the likes of, of a version of Harry Kane or not Harry Kane. So Jamie Vardy, ignore that. Don't use Harry Kane. The guy is a fridge on wheels. Uh, sorry, Jamie Vardy, uh, if you want to. Um, obviously, I would say you've got more luck in the Premier League than you have with the Liga Santander, in my opinion. There is a few great options in Liga Santander, but I think Premier League is probably a better shout. Uh, if you are... I mean, 650k to spend. Can you afford Tots Vardy? I mean, you can afford his team of the season card, and this card looks absolutely insane. So I would say give this card a go first as your right striker if it is uh, Rodrigo that you are looking to keep and Kazoli you're looking to replace. Obviously, vice versa, just swip them around and do the same thing. Uh, but I'd say give this card a go. He looks absolutely nuts in game. I've heard phenomenal things about him with any kind of chem style. He gets boosted in a crazy phenomenon um whichever one you really want to be honest he's going to be a high rated striker in game with any chem style in the entire game so i would give him a go for this team i think the rest of the team is it works really well though i do like the rest of the team uh moving on now we've got dan's team it says hey ryan this is my team the first pick is how i start and the second is how i play everyone is untradeable including the bench and reserves apart from carlos budget is around 550k and i also have shapeshifter ben Yedda on my bench normally instead of promes you have an untradeable shapeshifter ben Yedda and an untradeable shapeshifter ronaldo that's Pretty insane. GG. Um, obviously, I'm not one to say anything about untradables. Okay, so looking at this team, what would I say? I like the I like the layout. I, I think it's a very interesting team for sure. I like the layout. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about Santi and De Bruyne, both as, as box-to-boxes in this setup. I think Essien's a phenomenal CDM. I think I would probably replace Santi here with a more defensive option. Um, I think De Jong could be a really good shout, uh, whichever version of De Jong you can afford. Um, I'm not entirely sure how much his versions are. I know we've had a massive market crash, but I don't think it's big enough to, you've, yeah, it's still 900k. The 87 looks like a really good box-to-box -box midfielder. That would be a decent shout. You could also work towards a flashback Vidal card. This would be a phenomenal addition to your team, and I think you'd probably have him endgame if you don't already have him... 
yeah, you don't already have them. 356,000 coins to work towards untradables and stuff like that will also help you grinding towards it. So you've got a uh, team of season Visca, a team of season uh, Tiago, and a team of season uh, Testagan, as well as a 94 and a 92 rated red that aren't even on your bench. I would say um, you could probably get this card done for a lot cheaper and would make a massive improvement to your midfield uh, in terms of getting another box to box midfielder. And I think Santa Cazola for me, a little bit too weak, a little bit too small. Uh, and I'm pretty sure he has awful stamina, if I'm not mistaken. I might be completely wrong with that, but I'm pretty sure he has dreadful stamina. I mean, 80 stamina's not bad, actually. That's that, that's not bad at all, to be fair. Um, but no, I just I don't, I don't, I just think he's a bit too weak, a little bit too small. And whilst he might have 80 defending, it's a little bit of a lie because uh, realistically, it's it's interceptions and, and defensive awareness at 83. And then he's got 77, 73, and 71. I don't know how that makes up 80, but I mean... The A Sports FIFA at the end of the day. The rest of this team, though, is is really meta. It's really end game. You know, you've got Griezmann and Ronaldo on the wings, both fantastic. Uh, 96 Aguero red is phenomenal. GG on that. Uh, you've got the 90 David Luiz, which is a great card, as well as Diego Carlos. You've got really nice card in Kevin De Bruyne over here. Trent. Um, this team is really, really good. It's really end game. I would just say, yeah, why towards that Vidal? I think it'd be a great addition to your team. Uh, the next one coming from Kai, who says, Hi, Haber, this is my team. All untradeable. The first is in game. The second is, is how I start. You didn't unfortunately link the uh, how you start, but it's fine. I'd probably be able to work it out. You got 1.5 mil for upgrades. Let's check it out. You're using a fridge on wheels up top in Lukaku. This card is a no-go, boys. I am a massive Man United fan. All right? I love Romelu. Just no. Just don't. In previous FIFAs, I feel like... You can use a tall striker next to a small striker. The problem with this card is that no matter how you play the game, if someone is playing drop back one depth, you are really going to struggle to get this guy into a position to score. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, I use Lukaku, I enjoy him. Because a lot of people like going against the grain. I think that this card just does not work for this game. He's got phenomenal stats. And if you are playing him maybe as a super sub, or if you are playing him in a way where... You know, you do really good build-up and you get some shots off. Maybe that would work. But the problem is in Weekend League is how sweaty some people play and how defensive people play. You need someone that's going to be able to weave in and out. And sadly, he just doesn't possess that ability. Whilst he might be really good in terms of just destroying defenses going forward, he's just not going to be able to weave, unfortunately. I think the rest of this team is fantastic. I would just maybe work on Lukaku, to be honest. I'd say that's the only, uh, the only place that I would work on in terms of this team, because everywhere else is really good end game. I like it a lot. Uh, I see you've got Ben Yedder on the bench. You're probably better off Ben Yedder. I know it sounds horrible. I hate Ben Yedder as much as the next guy. But oh, and you did you did link me how you start it. Okay. Um, you're probably better off using that Ben Yedder, in my opinion. Uh, or maybe using that Messi, or maybe using Fekera, whoever you really want, really. Um, I just would not go with Lukaku personally. And that's coming from a massive Romelu Lukaku fan. You know, I love Romelu Lukaku. I think he's he was an amazing player at Man United. I think that he's absolutely dominating in the Serie A. I, I wish he didn't leave Man United. Unfortunately. Next one coming from Bowborn, who says, All right, yo, it's Haber. I've got 120k spare. Everyone's untradeable. The second team is in game. I've got Mbappe and Immobile from 80 plus player picks. Okay. Nice. 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 Must be nice. I'm, I'm joking, by the way. I know my look's been incredible. Um, I just got gold two for the second time ever. Let's go, dude. So I'm pretty guessed for Thursday. Keep it the good work. Yo, I am over the moon for you, man. Congratulations, bro. Um, I would say with this team, first things first, what I would say with this team is I think that you could probably do with a more dominant CDM as opposed to Guardiola. At the start of the game, Guardiola was fantastic. You know, I recommended you guys to get him from Icon Swaps at the start of the game. However, now... I get very excited to play against Guardiola because he just is not good enough anymore. I would say you've only got at the minute uh, 120k. I would I would save. I would you know build up the coin balance. But I would say excuse me. I would say um, what you're probably best off doing here is eventually replacing that Guardiola with a different icon. Now who that might be I don't know. Uh, maybe you try and get a Petit. Maybe you try and get Makaleli. Maybe you try and get a. I don't know, you maybe you stretch to a baby VR. Whoever you go for, if you've got icon swap tokens, maybe go for gold too. So um I would just say for me, Guardiola is the problem in this team. Uh he's not the only problem. I think Matthew as well probably is not the best of centre backs. I think he's probably a great option for the amount of coins you've got, but he's not the best of centre backs. What I'm gonna start doing, boys, is when you only have a hundred K, we're in nearly June. When you've got a team like this and only hundred K, there's nothing I can say to improve your team. There's nothing at all. I'm just going to tell you where your weak points are, in my opinion, and where you can improve, because it's pointless me telling you 
upgrade this Guardiola to a Hullet because you can't, you know? And there's no one for 120k that you can upgrade to and help. So I'm just going to uh, start telling you guys where I think your weak points are. And if you've got the coins to upgrade, then I'll, I'll tell you where to improve, in my opinion. Um, the next one coming from... Uh, Twitter robot number four. Uh, he says, only tradables are Tiago and Hummels. I have a million coin budget to improve. Love the vids. Pick me for the vid, please. Hey, much love, man. Thank you very much for support. Uh, so this is how you start. You've got Mike LaBelle at CDM. You've got Gattuso and uh, Tiago. Okay. You've got Prime Lineker. You've got Dami. You've got Sane. Uh, nice team. I would say your problem here in this team uh, would be Hummels. I think you go with team of the season up Meccano. I have tried Hummels. I just wasn't a fan. I would say uh, up Meccano at right centre back. Um, perhaps go with foot birthday Danny Da Costa at right back and then just see where the, the rest of the team leads you. Maybe in rewards you get yourself a red Insigne or maybe you get like an Ema Bile and you want to get you want to buy Insigne to link him up. Uh, I guess we'll just see what happens with rewards. But I would say, um, you know, the team is, is definitely good. I just think that Hummels and Lena are probably your weak points in this team. Uh, the next one, unfortunately, this is this is done in portrait, and I, I can't rate them in portrait. If you're going to screenshot it, just turn this screen and then screenshot it, and it'll work. Uh, the next one coming from Regan, who says, All in trade, we're hoping for a Jonathan or uh, Teixeira um, before they're out of pack, so I can move Elkson to Cam. He's cracked in game. I literally just need an out-and-out out support striker for R9. All in tradable. This man has Hullet and R9, both in trade. Uh, and Zidane. I know, because Regan actually tweeted me earlier today flexing his r9 his hullet and his sedan i the only two i'm looking for now is a dan and r9 that's all i'm looking for and i keep doing med icons because i really want them and i'm just being greedy i know i'm just being greedy i get it i'm being i'm being a greedy pig but you know i just want them okay i just want them this team looks phenomenal by the way i'm a big fan i'm a big fan of this team i would not change a single thing like you say Go for the Teixeira or go for the Jonathan, whichever one you, you end up getting. You probably end up getting one of them, I'd guess. Um, and if not, then just go for, who knows really, whoever you whoever you sort of get in rewards or whoever you get in packs over on this right cam spot. Uh, this team is phenomenal though. This team is built really, really well. I am just thinking if you can maybe shuffle this about a little bit. I'm trying to think if you can get Miranda on cam here. Don't think he can. Yeah, no, I don't think he can. Um, if you do get Teixeira, then you can. Or if you do get Jonathan, then you can swap over R9 and Coutinho and get the, the strong link to Miranda that you need. Um, but apart from that, this team is phenomenal, mate. I wouldn't change anything else. I love it. I think it's a great team. Uh, the next one coming from Nick, who says, uh, I play a 4 one 2 one 2 in game. Uh, Nabry and Hazard up top and with Mahrez at cam. Everyone's untradeable apart from Hazard. Got 250k plus gold 2 rewards. I want to upgrade on Hullet next. I get that. Baby Hullet is a little bit obsolete at this part of the game. I would say if you're going to go for an upgrade on Hullet, uh, I would probably wait until you can get a big stonking upgrade. You know, uh, you're playing him as a, as a box-to-box, I'm assuming. A big upgrade to Hullet, in my opinion, would be a prime or a prime moment Sadorf. That would be a big upgrade to Hullet. Uh, or to his middle card, which obviously is a massive stretch away. Um, but I think Seydorf could be a good shout. I think as a box-to-box. -box. I don't actually know how much Seydorf's uh, moments card is. He's got one of our favorite uh, pictures in game, though. I like the picture a lot, just with his with his hair flapping around. Um, I like it a lot. This card looks really good in game. I would say, yeah, if you're going to go for anyone, I would I would go for a prime or a prime moment Seydorf. I mean, prime Seydorf is only 335, um, so you're not too far away from that with, with rewards incoming as well. Um, so yeah, you'll probably be able to afford the Prime if you want to go with the Prime and then save up for the Prime moments after. Next one from Harry, who says, uh, I have 150k. Pogba and Neymar, the only tradables. The second picture is what I'll play in game. I'm waiting until Thaiza to get the third picture. Is there any other options? What do you think about it? Love the content and having, I uh, hope you're having a good day. Hey, you too, Harry. Must love, man. Um, let's check it out. Okay, I like it. Instantly, I like it. Red, uh, Red Rashford, Pogba. Beautiful. Uh, no, I think this team looks really good, actually. Um... 442, very interesting. Uh, and you're thinking of building... Yeah, no, I like this a lot. I would say, bin off Quadrado. Hopefully, you do get lucky enough in rewards. I would go with Hernandez there. I really would. Or I would start building towards um, the player moments, Alexandro. I think that based on this team, I would rather you play a left back on chemistry than another off chem player because you've already got one one off chem player in the in the defense and you've got you've got Rashford off chem you've got Zambrotta off chem you've got Mbappe off chem 
If you're going to play another player off cam, I just don't see the point. I would play uh, Hernandez or a player moment Alexandro. I don't know how much the Alexandro SBC is these days. A fodder is at an all-time low, by the way. So if you guys are looking to grind an SBC, now is the time. It might go up tonight given the guaranteed SBCs, but right now fodder is at an all-time low. 375 for this card is not bad. Good value, in my opinion. But th I like the team. I give it a solid... 9 out of 10, I think you can definitely improve on just improving the players uh, to, you know, a better version of Pogba, a better version of, of Zambrotto, etc, etc. Uh, but apart from that, I think he's a very good team. And the next one coming from Josh says, Hi, mate, I've got 300k. Who should I improve? Love the vids. Let's check it out. Um, I think that your weak spots in this team, Jimenez, Ayosi Perez, and I would say maybe upgrade to Stegen to Team of the Season Courtois instead because he's, he's just as good in my opinion. He really is. Um... But yeah, in terms of who to upgrade to, though, uh, it's a difficult one. You could swap Ndidi and Mares, So then Mares just starts on full chemistry in the middle as well. And then you could go up top. You could save up towards the top's Vardy. I mean, right forward. Ayosi Perez is not bad. You could probably keep Ayosi Perez. Um, but I would say, yeah, Jimenez. He's got to go, bro. He's got to go. Next team coming from Jane says, I've got 190k and gold to your rewards on Thursday. The only trade doubles are Mendy and Hernandez. First is how I play and the second is how I start. Keep up the good work. Ooh, nice team. I like this a lot. I'm being honest with you, mate. Realistically, nothing. No, Alexa, stop. Sorry, she likes to interrupt. I would not change a single thing in this team. This team is endgame in my opinion. The only person that I would say improve over time when you get a ton of coins is Partey. I would say when you get enough coins you, and you can afford the upgrade, I would probably replace Partey with a top tier icon, whether that be a Moments Petit, whether that be a mid or prime Vieira, whether that be a Moments Makalele, whether that be a Moments Essien, whether that be a, uh, you know, whoever you're looking to upgrade to, maybe it'd be a Moments Matthias. Um, I would just say upgrade this party card when you eventually can. Uh, but until then, this team is really good. I like this team a lot, to be honest. It's a very, very nice team. Um, and the last two for this episode are going to be from Clarko and Jamie. Um, excuse me, Clarko's team. Hi, Haber. Can you rate my team? All in tradable, but Kovacic, Leno, and Triore. Love the vids. Hey, thanks very much, man. I appreciate it, dude. Um, right. I would say weak points. I would say uh, you don't really have many, to be honest. This team is well built. Um, where you can, I think, I think your definite next upgrades, James Madison, I would upgrade to maybe a shapeshifted Mares. I know it's technically a downgrade, but I think Mares is better in game. Then I would probably upgrade Fuchs to a better left back. Then I would probably upgrade Adama after that. I like Adama, but as a bench player, he just, as a starter, he just didn't do it for me. Uh, but the rest of the team is really nice. I think the team, it works, you know, it works. I just think that, well, I mean, Madison's playing centre mid. Maybe you could upgrade Madison to like a... Who's a good box-to-box? -box? Maybe a, a headline is Genie Wijnaldum. Wouldn't be a bad shout. The last one coming from Jamie. He says, hi, hey, but this is my team. The second picture is how I play in game. The only tradable in my team are Varane, Gabriel, Lehman, and Sizoko. All the benches are tradable as well. I have 110k. What can I improve? Give it the good work. Hey, Muslim man. Um, wow. This is also a great team. Only improvement I would make for you... I mean, it's not even an improvement, really. I would just say work on getting a better right back there, to be honest. Um, who you go for, I don't know, to be honest. Maybe you have to go with an icon. This team, in my opinion, is incredible. It's so well built. That Gabriel card is incredible. That Sissoko card is incredible. You've got a really good striker in Dalglish. In fact, no, I played Dalglish, Cameron, and, and Aguero up top. I think you'll have more use out of the five-star weak foot at Cam than you will at striker, but... That's just my opinion. But no, this team is, is genuinely a mad endgame team. It's amazing. What I will say is that you guys seem to have incredible endgame teams. There is such a divide. Either amazing endgame team with a, with a load of coins. Amazing endgame team with no coins at all. Terrible team with a ton of coins. Terrible team with no coins. There is no in-between. I feel like there's no mid-tier teams with a mid-tier amount of coins. I feel like... Um, and I, I, and I don't know why, I don't know if that's because EA haven't provided enough opportunity in game to grind without putting thousands of hours in, or if the casual players kind of dropped off a lot this year. I don't know. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think, but thank you for watching anyway. I really do appreciate the support. Um, you guys have been smashing it recently. I really appreciate it. Make sure to follow me on Twitch and Twitter links in the description. I made a TikTok. I don't know why. But my TikTok's at it's Haber on TikTok if you want to follow me on there. Completely your choice. I might post some stuff on there. I might not. I don't know. 
but I really enjoy TikTok. I know some of you might think that's sad. I just enjoy the app. I think it's really funny. Uh, so if you want to follow me on there, feel free. If you don't, that's your call as well. But I really appreciate it, guys. Uh, I know some of my opinions can be a little bit whack sometimes, but hard to keep on top of the game sometimes. I do forget players, and I get that, and I apologize. But I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and, and you know, reminding me of those comments. So thank you very much, and I'll see you later.